Welcome back. The Albany Devils kicked off the playoffs tonight against the team that kicked them out last year. Nearly a big mistake in the first period, though. Brendan Leipzig pokes it away. Mackenzie Blackwood with the bailout. He had 27 saves tonight, and that one huge because the Devils go down and draw first blood. Ben Thompson from the point gets all the way through. one nothing. Devils after one. Misplayed puck, and yes, for Foss, look what I found. Muscles it through to put New York on the board. Late in the period, though, it's two on one. And this is just a thing of beauty. Tori Mitchell ties it up. Nothing Henrik Lundqvist could do about it. So we have the same score in the second period. Rick Nash on the doorstep. That's the game winner. New York snaps its six-game home playoff losing streak to even the series. Times are ticking away for the Albany Devils. The team is leaving the Capital Region after this season, and the season is at risk of ending tonight. The Devils down two games to one in the best of five series. And in the extra frame, less than two to play. Alexander Radulov pokes it home. Huge win for the Canadians, who even in the series at one game of peace. The Dutchman put together one heck of a year, and today head coach Rick Bennett was named a finalist for the Spencer Penrose Award given annually to the Division I Coach of the Year. Union exceeded expectations going 25-10-3, making its fifth NCAA tournament appearance in seven years and producing a pair of Hobie Baker finalists. He became the first Dutchman to score himself a spot in the Hobie hat trick. That means he's one of three finalists with the chance to be named college hockey's best player. This is the first time Will Brown has coached in a conference championship game that he he hasn't won and after the game he wasn't pointing any fingers but David Nichols took the blame anyway. He shot just 6 of 25 from the field and he was visibly upset along with fellow sophomore Joe Cremo. Josh the player said that at halftime they could hear Monmouth in the next room playing music and cheering and it made them really mad particularly Nico Clareth who got everyone fired up. He took over the locker room and then he followed it up with a second half for the ages. The day started with snow turned into sleet and now confetti. This celebration all in the name of the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots. I came over Puerto Rico a day early to come here. Union College junior Allie Corsetti had one player in mind when she changed those flights. Brady, Brady. So excited to see Tom Brady because he's the GOAT. And she wasn't the only one. Tom Brady, we never doubted it. We knew he'd bring it home and he delivered like the champ that he is. Brady. <laughs> You're teaching him at a very young age. Yeah, I mean, you got to teach him the right way and that's the right thing to do is how to be a champion, right? Time champion to be exact, as Patriots owner Robert Kraft pointed out. Uh, it's history. It's history. Which made braving the elements a no brainer for Marcos and Jordan De Jesus or the O'Sullivan family. New England, if it's not snowing and raining and cold out, we don't want to even be part of it. We're all here with winners, New England winners. New England's won a whole lot recently. This is Boston's 10th victory parade in the last 15 years. In Boston, I'm Leanna Bonavita, News 10 NBC.